What's up everyone? My name is John Vreeling and my YouTube channel is Johnny Trucking Outdoors where I'll be featuring myself cooking and camping and fishing and hunting and truck camping and going through all those adventures with you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day and thanks for tuning in to my first video. So today I'm super excited. We're going to be going over to Tishomingo a small town but first we're going to stop by a grocery store and grab some uh, food to cook up this evening and then we're going to go over there we do need to pick up some barbless hooks or even take some hooks and file off the barbs for that area but we're allowed to keep three trout there so I'm super excited so come along Well, I'm ready to go to the water now. It's a beautiful day out here. As you see on that sign, three rainbow trout per day, any length. Awesome. Very beautiful out here. See if we can catch trout. I know they're in here. Like my sixth spot. This one looks good though. See if there's anything in here. There's a fish jumping over there. So I'm going to try the spoon out here and if it doesn't work I do have like some salmon eggs or something some spawn sacks that I can put on the end of that but we'll try this out here also additionally I was wrong the barbless section that I mentioned earlier was upstream in a certain area but always know your regulations I asked like two or two people I contacted the game warden and I checked the website to make sure I'm not off on any regulations That was dumb, just caught a tree. You'll probably see it up there. Who knows if I'll get that back. Sorry, I know it's loud. All these waterfalls. I'm using the trout bait. I just lost the fish a second ago, so hopefully he'll come back. Finally on. Try if I land them safely. Certainly not the biggest fish, but I will certainly keep them. Man, you have like... That was a beautiful fish. So guys, I finally caught this trout. I'm holding out to show you guys. So here he is. He's a little sloppy. He's probably good 8-10 inches long. Very pretty fish. So I've been fishing with uh, trout bait, which looks like an egg, and putting it probably about 2-3 feet underneath the bobber. Worked extremely well. I'm going to actually keep them to eat for catch, clean, and cook, unless I lose them again. 
Hopefully we get another fish. We're allowed to keep three here, and they can be any size. So since I caught this one smaller-ish one, I hope I get a couple bigger ones. We got my fish down there on the stringer, so try to get a couple more. Man, I missed that trail. Man. We'll get him. I'm on again. Oh, he is a nice one. Well, who knows? Certainly a fighter. What do we got here? Another rainbow. Nice. Certainly smaller than the last one. But, I mean, quite beautiful, though. Bomb lit. Perfect. Let's get him out. There you go. That is a very unsuccessful release, but he is fine. He is right down there. You can see him going across. Somewhere out there. That was cool. Moving spots. Let's grab that fish. Oh, he's still lively. There he is. One lively dude. Man, he is beautiful. Oh, look at this dude, dude. He is small. Hey, what's up, everyone? So I just finished uh, fishing. Caught three trout, one small guy that I released, another one that was probably seven, eight inches. I might have should have kept him, but I just kept this one trout here. It is gorgeous out here. We're out at the Blue River in Tishomingo in Oklahoma. So. Well, I have not yet had lunch since I was so excited to start fishing. So we are going to head on back, and I was talking with some locals, and they said that there's a good place to camp down the river a couple miles down it's free and it's a state park and you can camp right beside the river and fish too so maybe i'll catch another one who knows but i'm hungry so i'm ready to go to the campsite and be able to eat this fish and back to the truck now this whole big mess there's vines everywhere these vines too they got good little spikes on them as well so Definitely not helpful. I'm a little bit out of breath since I've been hiking around for the last couple miles. But, yep, I'll see you guys back at the truck. Now walking back from the river. I think it's like 5 or 6 p.m. So, looks like I'm the only one left in the parking lot. I actually measured this guy too and he turned out to be ten and three quarters of an inch long. So I already got him gutted and cleaned out. Let's get him back. There we go. Hey, what's up everyone? We're back in the truck now. And at some separate date, I'll give you a full show and tell of my truck and the outside, the inside, and how I camp out in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that trout cooked up. Cause I am extremely hungry. Now this is probably not the best 
way to cook trout out there. Also, additionally, my burner is way too small for a trout this big. So, I'll probably have to cut them in half. And I did pick up a salad as well from the store. I got some seasonings, but I probably should have brought butter. Before it gets too dark, I need to get this fish cooked. Look, there he is here. This is not even a proper pan. So let's go ahead and get this fish cooked up. Hopefully you guys can see me. Oh, we got a fire going. Go and get some mesquite seasoning on them. Normally lemon pepper is better, but gonna do with what I got. Finally got that fish cooked. That looks amazing. Tastes amazing as well. It's been a while since I caught trout. It's been probably eight months to a year. It's quite delicious. Got one bone. You can see that meat is just peeling off the rib cage. You definitely don't want to overcook fish as well. But this is perfect. Well, I have to demolish that fish, but I'll catch back with you guys later on when I get ready to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna eat a salad as well. Just because that fish didn't fill me up completely. Again, I didn't miss uh, lunch since I was so excited to go fishing. So I'm going to go ahead and eat salad. His store bought and it does look pretty good and healthy. So Here's a quick overview of my setup here. Camping gear. My 40 degree sling bag as well as a couple of uh, pads and camera gear. There's a tall topper. Come on, go ahead and hop in bed. Yeah, so back door shut now. Don't worry about carbon dioxide in this place. There is that window open there at the front. You can see that gap right there. So, definitely won't suffocate myself with carbon dioxide. Though as soon as I put a heater in here, like if it gets too cold, I definitely need to grab a carbon dioxide detector for safety purposes wise, so. But yeah, I'm going to get changed, get ready for bed. There's my shirt. I did slightly fall into the river. You could say fall into. I slid in there a couple feet. So one leg got wet, you know, right before the knee. So definitely need to get changed. I certainly need to get better lights in here as well. So if you guys have any recommendations, feel free to throw in the comments below. And I'll take a look at those lights and see if I can mount them up in this truck. Because I definitely need more lights for taking you guys along with me on this journey. Truck camping and everything outdoors. Well, I'm in my sleeping bag now and about ready to head off, so... Good night, world. Good night, everyone. Well, good morning, everyone. 
I did have a 40 degree sleeping bag. I slept in last night until about 2 in the morning. And then just dropped down to like, I think it's like 22 degrees out. I can see my breath. Inside this metal camper up topper, I mean. So, I'm going to get up. Probably go do some fishing and try to catch some trout today. But yesterday around 2 in the morning, I switched to a zero degree sleeping bag. And I stayed a lot warmer then. But I'm going to just look up the weather. It's about 8.33 this morning, so definitely slept in a little well. It won't even show me the weather. I'm out of service. So, I'm going to get up and get warmed up in the truck and probably cook up some eggs for breakfast or something. I'll bring you guys along. Uh, yesterday I was fishing. I got uh, three trout. One was ten and a half. One was probably like nine, and then a small guy. But that was up by the rapids, up by the. Yeah, all right here yesterday. I had one that was easily five pounds or bigger. I got him right to the bank. And was, five pounds? I was debating whether to pick him up or use the net, and I didn't use the net, and then I picked him up. How big was he? Oh, he was. Way longer than that foot. And he was actually a rainbow throw? Yeah, he's a rainbow throw. Wow. Crazy. Well, if you want some corn, that's your best bet. The better than using that. I'll take rate. a bet if you want. Well, thank you. But uh, how are you rigging up? Slip weight? I'm using a slip weight to like a snap swivel. To, like, See, I a took small the hook. snap swivel off, used the slip weight, and put a split shot up about 10 inches from your okay. hook. And that way it'll set on bottom because if they pick it up and there's too much weight, they'll just drop it. Every time they just drop it. Okay. So if you have that slip weight, you'll let them take it a little bit more. So. Okay. Good luck, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. again, see if I can get anything, if not, I'm back on the road. Fortunately, this is my last day here, just a weekend trip. That's weird. They're actually trout. They're trout? Yeah. Never seen that before. 
we can possibly see a trout out there splashing in a circle. Oh. Certainly small, but I'll probably keep them. What I got here. Certainly not what I was wanting to catch, but cool little warm mouth. Well, it's certainly been an awesome time down here by the river this weekend. I know for next time I definitely want to be bringing a heater into my truck since last night got pretty cold, but I did end up catching one small trout this morning. Again, these fish are actually stocked from either like Arkansas or I think it was actually Louisiana. They bring them in by the thousands and dumped them in this river. I think the season runs all the way till the March the 30th, so I may be out here again trout fishing. I know this is my first video on YouTube of me camping in my truck and catch, clean, and cook, and catching fish and having fun hiking around the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we gone.